We're going up 90 meters up here in uh, Dubai Intersect 2019. I'm with uh, a couple of exhibitors uh, in the fire and rescue section in the outdoor demonstration area, uh, Bronto Skylift and Janiska. And I uh, have uh, Yoni from uh, Janiska, uh, sorry, Janis from Janiska and uh, Ante from Bronto Skylift. Anzi from Bronto Skylift, who manufactures this particular machine. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, Annie, uh, you are the uh, owner of this asset, uh, working with, uh, partnering with Bristol uh, and bringing this 90-meter uh, Bronto Skylift uh, to, to the Middle East region via Intersec. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, uh, we are operating mainly uh, North Europe and uh, North America. And, uh, and uh, we use mostly these kind of units for, for uh, wind industry, uh, maintaining blades. And uh, as, the, as uh, winter season, uh, you cannot actually use uh, resins, which is used for uh, repairing the blades. We have a lot of uh, machines uh, without the work and during winter time. So, so we, we are searching the possibility to work uh, our winter time in, uh, in uh, United Arabs and in a few months and uh, then go back, back and doing uh, blade maintenance in, uh, in North Europe. Uh, and here's the, uh, the, the manufacturer of the, this particular Skylifter. It's not the highest. You actually built 112 meter platforms, but this is the, uh, the largest sort of mass produced one. Is that right? Yes, yes, that's, that's correct. We, we built uh, these, uh, these units up to 112 meters. Our, our units are, are used. We got, we got two, two, different, uh, two different product lines. We got uh, ones, for, ones for firefighting and ones for industrial use, such as, uh, such as these, this unit that Jan Niska uses for, for play plate maintenance, general construction, construction and, uh, and other maintenance work. And as of course we go higher up in the air, how high will we be, we be now? It looks you still... Can, you can see, see Mr. Matthias, Matthias there. He can, uh, he can show you, show you how, how high we are. We are now at 50 meters. 50, 50 meters. So halfway. we're not, just over, just over halfway, it already feels pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, the competition is already, already under us. <laughs> All right, so uh, how has the reaction been at uh, Intersect? We're at day two so far. Uh, what has the feedback been so far? I'm sure there have uh, been a lot of takers to, uh, to try it out. No, well, for us, uh, as it's uh, more, mostly for fire, fire exhibition, uh, we are on construction business, but we are kind of uh, helping uh, manufacturers to show bigger units than uh, they have in the market. And uh, for us, it's as well interest that a civil, civil defense uh, probably might use us in a rescue situation as a rental, rental purpose as well. So, so we've been uh, meeting uh, interesting uh, partners here. Uh, both from Finland, uh, Janiska and uh, Bronto are both Finnish companies. Um, uh, how many of these particular uh, models do, do you have in your portfolio, uh, Joni? Well, I've been buying uh, uh, approximately 10 kilometers of uh, Pronto Booms uh, on, on during my, my life. I uh, uh, started this business as I was 21, and uh, there's uh, more, more than 100 units already bought. Cool, and, uh, and it looks like we are almost reached our peak, it seems. Is that right? Or Quite impressive, isn't it? How many times have you been up so far this week? Uh, I, no, actually, this is first time this week. Oh. But uh, of course, I, I, when I was younger, boy, I was uh, driving this by myself, so, so I'm very very familiar with the units, working all kind of, you know, telecommunication network, changing windows from the facades, uh, steel construction, all refineries, maintenance for those, all kind of work where, where people need to go fast up and safe way, efficient. And um, as the, uh, the rental company for, well, in partnership with Bristol, um, what does it cost to, you know, for, for an end user to, to rent this, this particular platform? No, well, uh, it's, it depends, of course, uh, if it's a short work, one day work, or, or do you use it by monthly basis or uh, everything. I, I would say it's uh, around 20,000 dirhams a day, and, uh, and it can be, be much lower if it's a long-term contract. Andy, how long has this, uh, the Bronto Skylift 90 meter platform been in the market? This, uh, it's, it's been in the market, I would say, over, over 15 years, uh, 17 years or so. So it's it's an old uh, it's an old and proven proven concept. We were we were the first ones first ones on the market with it, and it's like I said it's a, it's, it's it's a workhorse really. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's very very stable stable unit even even at, at these heights. So you you don't you don't you don't feel it wobbling or. I was going to say, and of course we actually came up here quite quickly, and uh, you didn't really didn't really notice it. Uh, and of course we are here now, 90 meters up in the sky, and. Uh, 
still quite feels quite smooth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And this is this is obviously it's, it's essential when you when you need when you need to actually do something up up here when you need to work as they do, you know, maintenance maintenance work and etc. You you need to have a solid solid platform to work on and this is this is what we provide. From your point of view, uh, what what is next? I mean, 112 meters is the highest platform you have. Uh, are you going to go any higher? So far, so far, obviously, uh, the one of the one of the limiting factors is the chassis. Chassis on our on our uh, 112 meter unit, there's a seven seven axle chassis, chassis underneath it, and, and basically it's the it's the logistics logistics. So taking taking the big units from A to B, that's that's what what's causing causing the um, causing the problems on bigger bigger units. But obviously, steel uh, steel construction is. Uh, is, 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 is moving moving ahead and and you know our uh, and it might be that uh, next generation we have uh, we have we we have to use use other other materials when building this so you, you never know we, we, we we're, not, we're not done we're not done and of course they don't come cheap do they no 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 they don't <laughs> <laughs> well Yoni and Antti uh, thank you very much uh, from the 90 meters up here in Dubai at uh, Intersect 2019. Uh, I guess we'll make our way down, uh, maybe. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.